they could have used a good result here. Yella from the Mellow Yellows, a team that sits in eighth but lost two spots. Only trail fourth place by fewer than 10 points. A good result here could make that up and then some. Moving on to 37, easily clears it. Now we're into record territory. He ties it, 37 and a half. Can the Mellow Yellows jump up into first? They do. 38 and a half, no. He has the record. And will not clear 38 and a half, but still, that is a new Marble Olympics record and the lead in this event. Shining Swarm, they will advance along with them. Now the Thunderbolts, Team Primary, Oceanics, and the Quicksilvers. Team Primary loses out after a really good initial out of the gate. Oceanics now holding on to the lead. What a push. What just happened back there? I think we actually have somebody that, uh, that, that might have either gone over or maybe even... Oh, look at this. Team Primary, they've been disqualified. They started actually too early and got ahead of themselves. Oh, it was just off camera. I'll be darned. Look at that. Team Primary. They're going to be disqualified from this race. The Oceanics, in the meantime, set a new record. Nobody was watching them, though. They go five hundredths quicker. Oh, Nightmare is uh, really not happy. Trying to be calmed down by both his teammates, oh, and, and several others, too. Trying to keep him back. Oh, oh my. Some of the fans up in the stands are even getting into it now. Having to be subdued, it's spreading to others, too. Tempers boiling over. Of course, we had increased security after the fidget spinner incident. Mellow yellow pinkies, jawbreakers, shining swarm. Pinkies getting pretty spread out. Oh, actually, oh, look at this. Pinkies had one jump the rail. That is an invalid jump. You have to maintain all of those in your lane. You can help a competitor, but you cannot help your own. So that one goes down as a zero for them. They need better pushes from here on out. Look, actually, look at this. Oh, there we go. I had just mentioned this. Invalid, but, but we are going to count. The one at the bottom. Meanwhile, Shining Swarm sets a new Marble Olympics record, 80.1. Somebody's going to have to have a really good push here in order to overcome that. There was a decent spread between the four teams. Here we go. Coming down the line, making the impacts. The Rangers are going to push clear. Did they set a new Marble Olympics record? No. Well, okay, hold on. This is looking way back. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And it is a new Marble Olympics record, 82-6. What a push they made. And the Rangers fans are trying to storm the track. Oh, security's holding them back. That's not going to work too well. But the Rangers, they get gold in block pushing. Nonetheless, they will still move on. Look at the tension that you can see on the outer skin of those marbles as they wait in the starting gate. All right, this is the final. Oceanics, Chocolatiers, Mellow Yellow, and the Savage Speeders. Savage Speeders with a good jump. Trying to hold off Mellow Yellow. Are they going to be able to? No. Mellow Yellow's charging up front. They're going to win the race. Mellow Yellow at the end lunges in front. Look at this. They're, they're behind by about a half a length at this point. And in that final sector, the Savage Speeders just didn't have enough and they lose out 613 to 615 mellow yellow wins and they are running all over the place look at the crowd they are thrilled as can be even some youngsters in there i saw oceanics savage speeders momo and the limers limers with another lead on that far lane but look at in the near side this is actually going to be a three marble race as they come down here oh it's going to be close and the Savage Speeders are going to hold on to this one in front of the Limers. Boy, each single hurdle kind of re-stratified the marbles, reordered them a little bit. Question is, did Limers even hold on to second place? Yes, they did. So they didn't fall that much. But the overall victory in this, well, hold on here. Yeah, there you see it. That's a new record as well. The Savage Speeders living up to their name. That is a new Marble Olympics record. Well done to them. Semi-final A. Semi-final B now. Oceanics, Team Momo, the Pinkies, and the Shining Swarm. 
Shining Swarm, Pinkies now. Look at this, all four marbles within a couple of lengths of each other. Pinkies now try to exert their forces. They're in the lead, but not anymore. They're going to lose out on this semifinal. It is a very close finish indeed. Supposedly we're going to have a photo finish to determine it. Shining Swarm falling back behind, but then a, a pretty good exchange had evened them up. Now they're starting to lose back out, but it's a still a three-marble race for second at that point. But the final anchor leg is where Pinkies lost it out, I think, or did they? They might have lost second place as well. Ooh! Pinkies are going to get it. Pinkies, I think, managed to hold on just barely. Yes, they did. Boy, I'd have to think that's less than one hundredth of a second. But Momo... This is a team, mind you, that had not gotten a single medal in any of the Marble Olympics events until the last one. Now we go to a Rangers. Momo, Midnight Wisps. A Rangers up top. They need to do everything they can to advance to keep this fight alive. And it looks like they're going to. In fact, they're going to win this heat. They will advance to the final in a very good time, I might add. Oh, there it is. It's a new record. 13-12. Jungle Jumpers up top. They hold the narrow lead. Now a Rangers edging ahead. Now watch lane three. Lane three into second here. Oh, it's going to be very close. Midnight Wisps, I think, are going to do it. Yes, they will by seven hundredths of a second. They pip the Rangers at the end. But sometimes that can help you. Same thing here. Boom. Stops immediately. Jawbreakers and pinkies. Oh, by the way, one of, one of the marbles from the stands has apparently entered the playing field and is, uh, oh my. Uh, not quite what we'd call a streaker, but uh, I, I'm being told the security is on it right now. And they've got it taken care of. Okay, well, please don't do that. We already had one injured for Oceanic. So we had a, a decent spread there. We're going to take the best of two for each. And that means that Savage Speeders and Team Galactics. And, uh, oh, th that's a fan. Oh, they've come down and wanted to try this themselves. They didn't make it very far. It's a paltry 17 centimeters, and off they go. They are being escorted. I, I, we've been trying to work on this. Uh, there's no damage. I mean, nobody got hurt, but still. Maybe his pride a little bit, only making 17 centimeters. And that just goes to show you. Go to heat number two. And, and the jungle jumpers, you notice that did not do not start down there. They overslept. They've been celebrating so much from their last couple of uh, very successful events. They'll still be present in the closing ceremony, but they did not make scrutineering, and they did not make it to the starting gate in time. They will not compete in this event. If absolutely have to, to give up a couple of spots. That gap from fourth back to fifth is fairly sizable. I don't think they want to lose more than that, though. They decide to come back into second. End of the course coming up here. There you see the finish line. There you go. The Rangers will advance. Actually, they slipped to third. That's still good enough. So the door is open. They have to score more than 10 points above the amount of the Savage Speeders, and they will be the champions. 24-7-4 for the Thunderbolts. Bolta ran a pretty good time there. Their fans getting antsy as can be. Is anybody going to come up there and challenge them? Really, at this point, they don't have to win the event to win the Marble Olympics. They've got a good enough lead out front, though. It's not going to matter. The finish line is nearly in sight. Will the Rangers be able to hold? Look at Team Galactic. Look at Team Galactic. They are going to win the race. Rangers lose the battle but win the war. The O-Rangers lose out to Team Galactic right at the end. But they are your 2017 Marble Olympics champions. The fans are going crazy. They got enough points to win the Marble Olympics. Wisps and Momo now. Fifth of six matches in Group C for that one to settle. They've already got that one marble set off onto the left. Actually, wait a minute. We're getting word that Team Momo has an injury and will actually have to withdraw from this event. What happened here? Oh, there you can see it. A big chunk came off. Oh my goodness, that is a great concern to them. That may end up... Oh, that hard collision. Team Momo injured and may not be able to compete and finish this event. Oh, and there is Momo Momo. Sitting up in the stands. 
cheering his former teammates on. Wishes he could be down there with them, no doubt. Oh, there you see Momo Momo on the right there with a the crutch. Sometimes you get in a good rhythm and all of a sudden lose all the momentum that you have. You drop through two or three funnels in a matter of seconds. And all of a sudden your race gets undone. Oh, that just happened to the Limers right there. As I say that, Mellow Yellow also trying to fight to stay out of last place, if at all possible. Goodness. That's also pretty quick. Even with a penalty. Think about that. All right, our leaders in the Marble Olympics, the Savage Speeders, seeming always to live up to their name and looking pretty quick here. A little bit out of sorts. Still clocking in some good times. 41 5 7. Look at that. To go. Mellow Yellow in the blocks and off they go now. Back to three, keeping fairly tight. Oh, now getting a little bit of separation. One marble's not going to finish. Yeah, definitely getting caught back there. That will incur a penalty second. They were spread far enough that I really don't think it mattered. Let's see what their time is. 41 6 6. Oh my goodness. Yellow runs a 12 05. Sends them to the top of the standings. Jungle Jumpers now. They start off with a nine and a half, but they will need a couple of bullseyes. Oh, and they're not going to get a nine and a half. There's one. They need an eight and a half to tie. And they surpass it. They will win this event with three nine and a halves and a ten. That gives them the gold medal in archery.